Hi, I'm Todd Foreman, and welcome to Hubscapes. I'm here in Dorchester at Richardson Park on Cottage Street, and this is a statue of Edward Everett. It was done by the sculptor William Wetmore Story, the same man who gave us Colonel William Prescott on the side of Bunker Hill. It was dedicated in 1867, two years after Everett's death, and placed in the Boston Public Garden. Edward Everett, for whom the town of Everett was named, was born here in Dorchester and graduated from Harvard at 17, valedictorian of his class. Before the age of 20, he was installed as minister in the biggest church in Boston. In his lifetime, he was the first American to earn a PhD. He was the United States Secretary of State, the ambassador to Great Britain, the U.S. Senator from Massachusetts, governor of Massachusetts four times, and president of Harvard. He and Daniel Webster were considered the greatest orators of their century. After the Battle of Gettysburg in July of 1863, it was decided to enlist Edward Everett, among others, to, with artful words, sweeten the poisoned air of Gettysburg during the dedication of the battlefield cemetery. They even postponed the event to give Everett time to prepare. On November 19th, he mounted the podium and he addressed the crowd. He relived the history. He spoke of valor. He spoke of dedication. He spoke of courage and bloodshed. He spoke with great eloquence and he spoke for two hours. When he was finished, the crowd was exhausted, enraptured, and in tears. He was followed by another gentleman, a man decidedly not from Boston, a man who had never attended Harvard, let alone assume the presidency of Harvard. He was much more simply known as the president. And he didn't speak for two hours, more like two minutes, three minutes max. Well, this statue, like its famous forebear, has been eclipsed. It was removed from Boston Public Garden in 1911 and moved to a traffic circle in Dorchester where it experienced several close encounters of the vehicular kind. It was then moved to a back lot in Franklin Park and forgotten until somebody rediscovered it and placed it here in Richardson Park near Everett's birthplace. That would be the end of the tale. But there's still another statue that statue in the Boston Public Garden. This statue is also Edward Everett. But if you look carefully, and you really have to look carefully, it's actually Edward Everett Hale. Edward Everett Hale's mother was Sarah Everett, the sister of Edward Everett. And his father was the nephew of the famous Revolutionary War martyr, Nathan Hale. You remember him, the man who regretted only having one life for his country. Edward Everett Hale was born in Boston. And just as his uncle, he graduated from Harvard at the age of 17. He was a well-regarded minister both in Worcester and here in Boston. And along with Horace Mann was a famous educator and an abolitionist. Most school children of my generation would recognize the name as the author of that famous classic, The Man Without a Country. His statue is often mistaken for that of his more famous uncle, Edward Everett. I would suggest that both of these statues are hidden in plain sight. Edward Everett is 100 paces behind the Kentucky Fried Chicken on Columbia Road in Dorchester and Edward Everett Hale is tucked behind the Charles Street gate of the Boston Public Garden. The achievements of both of these men are long forgotten in the collective memory of Boston, but their statues still stand, if for any other reason, just to remind us where past greatness once stood. Well, that's Boston for you, and I'm Todd Foreman for Hubscapes. See you on the trail.